Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about postponing early death part three, the third in the series. Now, the first video, we talked about the dangers of too much insulin, right? Second, we talked about the dangers of too much estrogen, okay? Now, the third one, see if you can guess it, literally causes diabetes, dementia, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, osteoporosis, and autoimmune diseases. Can you guess what this is? Too much cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone, okay? If it's too high, it creates a lot of problems for people, okay? So this is stress-induced. So what happens when you have too much cortisol, it breaks down protein, muscle protein, and it turns into sugar, which then causes the diabetes. It sucks up the oxygen out of your brain. It literally starves your brain of oxygen. Okay, that's what stress does. All this sugar that's being generated from the muscle protein then turns in converted to cholesterol, even if your diet is good, okay? And also from the stress, it actually messes up uh, the called the neurotransmitters, and then you have problems with your blood pressure. So your like adrenaline starts kicking in too high, and you get this blood pressure effect too because cortisol triggers adrenaline. Okay, osteoporosis. Basically, you have a lot of protein in your bone, and you also have minerals. Well, cortisol or stress will deplete both protein and minerals out of your bone. And also controls the immune system, so you can have all sorts of autoimmune issues, right? And that's going to decrease your lifespan as well. So in this next part, let's just show you how to lower cortisol. Okay, so here's a few things you could do to lower cortisol. Number one, get more sleep. Go to bed a little earlier, sleep in, or just take a nap, okay? More sleep is going to then rejuvenate the adrenals, and then that's going to help lower the stress. Um, long walks. Walking is the best thing for the adrenal. Why? Because it's... Lots of oxygen, low stress. How long? At least an hour a day. It's going to help you. Um, now, some of you uh, are doing fine, doing fine with harder exercise. That's totally fine. You can increase the intensity and do that every day, but, but exercise tends to deplete stress in our bodies. Personally, I have to exercise every single day um, just to get the, the stress out because I just crave workouts. It's like my body demands it. Avoid stressful relationships, okay? If you're having friends or a family member or someone from work that's stressing you out, avoid them. Find, you know, new relationships. You know, get new parents or kids. You know, adopt new kids. And I'm just being sarcastic. But you're going to have to change the people, the relationships around you, and be more in control of that because that's probably the number one thing that really gets people. And then also B vitamins. Try to get these natural version uh, get a nutritional yeast that has the natural bees because B vitamins are depleted with stress. And when you increase the B vitamins, you lower cortisol, okay? So those are some tips. So in summary, we talked about what to do with insulin, estrogen, and now cortisol, the three killers. Now your body makes all three of these hormones. The problem is it's the excess that we don't need. But I'm telling you, if you manage these three things, uh, you should be able to increase your lifespan. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.